Yes, seniors, get ready for a holiday surprise. Brand new stimulus checks are now waving into several states across the nation. They are now sending much needed stimulus payments for you. Hold on to your seats because I've got some jaw-dropping news that could put big money in your pocket. Imagine receiving a whopping $975 direct payment from a mind-blowing $140 million treasure chest. But here's the catch. This golden opportunity is ticking away and you need to act fast. Whether you're a savvy senior, a wise widow, or a determined individual with a disability, this could be your chance to score. Bay, stay tuned as I reveal how you can claim your share before the clock runs out. Get ready to seize your financial destiny. It's all happening right here. Right now. Today. We've got some exciting news that's bound to put a smile on your face. Get ready for not one, not two, but three rounds of direct payments heading your way, ranging from a cool $100 all the way up to a whopping $1.350. That's right. It's raining cash. And we've got all the details for you. Welcome to channel folks. Your go-to source for all the latest updates on fourth stimulus checks and social security. I hope you all having a wonderful day. Let's continue the video. In a groundbreaking move, thousands of Americans are now eligible for direct payments that could total up to a whopping $975. Yes, you heard that. Right. The state of Pennsylvania is making waves by distributing a staggering $140 million to its taxpayers through the renowned property tax rent rebate program. And guess what? You might be eligible to claim your share of this substantial sum. Now let's break it down for you. If you qualify for supplementary refunds, you could receive checks ranging from a generous $650 all the way up to an impressive $975. Who wouldn't want a financial boost like that? Right. Wondering who can get their hands on this fantastic opportunity? Well, if you're a resident of Pennsylvania age 65 or older, a widow or widow age 50 or older, or a resident with a disability who is at least 18 years old, then congratulations. You're in the running for these substantial payments. But hold on to your hats. Because there's more. The clock is ticking. And Pennsylvania residents have until December 30th 1 to make sure they claim their well-deserved rebate. The process is simple. Just hop online and follow the instructions to secure your share of the pie. But wait. There's another exciting development on the horizon. If you're a resident of Washington, get ready to receive a pleasant surprise. When it comes to your taxes, the Department of Revenue in Washington is holding on to a massive amount of unclaimed money and property. And guess what? Over a million residents are in for some cashback. The average claim hovers around $131. And the source, a surplus of a staggering $1.18 billion. Now, let's shift gears and talk about a topic that's been on everyone's minds lately. Stimulus checks. Don't worry, we've got you covered on this front. 2. While the official tax deadline of April 18th might have passed, there's still a chance for you to file your previous year's returns and potentially claim the money you owed. It's not too late, folks. And here's the best part. If you meet certain income criteria, you could be in line for a sweet stimulus check anywhere between $600 and $1.400. For individuals, an income of $75.00 or below. And for couples, a combined income of $150.00 or below could open the doors to these financial boosts. As your income climbs past these thresholds, the amount starts to phase out, ultimately capping at $80.00 for individuals and $160.00 for couples. Now, for those of you who are curious about the eligibility criteria for the previous rounds of stimulus checks, we've got you covered there. 2. To be eligible for the first round of $1,200 checks, your income needed to be under $99.00 individuals or $198.00 couples. So if you haven't claimed what's rightfully yours, now might be the perfect time to do so. But hold on tight. Because the story doesn't end there. The Government Accountability Office estimates that between a staggering 9 and 10 million Americans are still owed stimulus checks. That's right, there's potentially a mountain of money waiting for you. And speaking of financial relief, we've got some heartwarming news for the residents of San Diego, California. The nonprofit agency Jewish Family Service is stepping up in a big way with the launch of the Recovery Action Fund. For tomorrow, Raft, if you're a low income resident who's been impacted by the pandemic, you could be eligible for a fantastic $4.0 relief payment. Families with incomes below 200% of the federal poverty level. That's $30.00 per year for single households and $60.00 for a family of four could be in for a game-changing opportunity. But that's not all. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly is making waves with her proposal to provide tax rebates to individuals and married taxpayers filing jointly. The state's budget surplus is being put to good use with the program set to total a whopping $800 million. And as an added bonus, Governor Kelly has vetoed a tax plan that primarily benefited the wealthy. This move demonstrates a commitment to equitable distribution and responsible fiscal decisions. In a groundbreaking move, Harris County, Texas is making waves with a bold universal basic income you buy program that's set to change lives. 
following a resounding 4 to 1 vote in the Harris County Commissioner's Court. The wheels are in motion for an extraordinary initiative. Starting this month, the county is rolling out a UBI program that will bless 1,500 lucky residents with monthly checks of $500 each for remarkable 18 months. Hold on to your hats, folks, because that's a staggering $20 5 million that's expected to be injected into the local economy. And guess what? A generous chunk of $915 million has been designated from the county's COVID-19 federal grants to make this dream a reality. The cherry on top. These fantastic payments are slated to hit bank accounts in early September. If you're a resident, don't miss out. Be sure to apply for this game-changing program right now. But wait, that's not all Montana residents. Listen up, there's a golden opportunity to get a slice of the pie chain. If you've called Montana home for at least seven months in 2022, and you've paid your property tax bill, you could be in for a treat. The state is gearing up to hand out rebates on property taxes, with eligible members potentially receiving a tidy sum of up to $675 for the fiscal year 2022. And here's the kicker. They are even accepting applications for 2023, which could double your chances, bringing the grand total to a jaw-dropping $1.350. Now that's what we call a smart way to save big on your property taxes. Plan to leave on an enlightening excursion into the possible domain of government-backed retirement, where changes not too far off could use an immediate effect on your monetary scene continuously 2024. Digging into the complicated apparatus that supports government-backed retirement benefits we find a yearly course of assessment prodded by the always moving tides of expansion. This assessment prompts changes, deftly organized through the system known as the average cost for most everyday item stipend, COLA. By and by, the compass directing these recalibrations is the shopper value list for Metropolitan Breadwinners and Administrative Laborers, CPIW. In any case, the CPIW probably won't lay out a total picture, neglecting to completely catch the particular necessities and monetary commitments that retired folks wrestle with. Enter a possible major advantage, a suggestion that supporters for a change in COLA computations, adjusting them to the purchaser value list for the older, CPIE. Such a shift could address a more tailor-made approach, finely tuned to take care of the particular prerequisites of resigned people. The expanding influence of this change could convert into a more even-handed conveyance of assets, with those in the most weak monetary positions receiving the rewards. Yet, the material of progress doesn't just stop at COLA changes. A nearer assessment uncovers the expected reconfiguration of the Essential Protection Sum, PIA, for select age gatherings. The plan behind this change is to give a pad against the increasing costs that frequently go with the brilliant years, especially in regions like medical care. This move holds the commitment of tending to a urgent concern, guaranteeing that government-backed retirement benefits remain sensitive to the developing requirements of its beneficiaries. For low workers, one more entryway of chance calls offering an upgraded least advantage that plans to hoist it to 125% of the government destitution level for people. This shift, whenever understood, could offer an unmistakable help, essentially reinforcing monetary security. To show, consider an individual as of now getting a humble month-to-month -month advantage of $1,033. 50. With the proposed improvement, this could rise to $1,518. 75. Possibly having a significant effect in the personal satisfaction for the people who need it most. That's all guys. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe our channel. I will see you guys in the next video.